Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will give you a brief overview on the simulated Boeing 737 NG's fuel management. So I will walk you through a different situations to see how the fuel of Boeing 737 is managed. For this demonstration I'll be using the PMDG 737-800. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the fuel loading. On our fuel quantity display, on the lower portion of the upper display unit, we check the center tank fuel quantity. If it has less than 1000 pounds, we can just have a look at the total loaded fuel to cross check that with our dispatched fuel quantity. But if the center fuel has more than 1000 pounds, we make sure to put the fuel to full on each main tank. Then we cross check the total fuel loaded amount with our planned fuel quantity. A fuel imbalance usually can be caused by an extended period of the APU ground operation. Otherwise it can be caused either by a different fuel flow quantity between the engines or a suspected leak in the fuel system. And you should monitor your fuel configuration during the ground cockpit preparation and remember that the takeoff is not permitted when the difference in fuel quantity between the two main tanks is more than 1000 pounds. To avoid fuel imbalance during the ground operation with APU running, if an extended time of APU operation is needed or required, use the fuel from the center tank instead. So turn on the left center fuel pump to feed the APU. When the fuel quantity difference between the two main tanks is more than 1000 pounds, a number imbalance alert appears on the related fuel tank indication. Now here is the steps to follow to correct the imbalance. If the center tank pumps are running, turn them off. Open the crossfeed valve and confirm the crossfeed light turns to dim. And we turn off both the fuel pumps of the main tank, which has less fuel quantity. For instance, the left fuel pumps go off. When the fuel get balanced, the ember alert disappear, as you can see here. Now the fuel is balanced, we reconfigure our fuel panel in reverse order starting with the main fuel pumps go on, wait for low pressure light to extinguish, then we move to the center fuel pumps if needed, turn them on, and finally we close the cross feed valve, cross feed light indicator extinguishes. This complete the fuel imbalance correction procedure. Before takeoff, if we see that we have less than 5000 pounds in the center tank, then turn the center pumps off. After takeoff, when the airplane is cleaned up, the center pump switches go on. When the fuel quantity in the center tank reaches 2000 pounds, open the crossfeed valve and turn off one center fuel pump switch. When the center tank has a minimum fuel, be prepared to get the fuel alert on the system annunciator with a low pressure ember light on the running center fuel pump. Then turn the switch off. Close the crossfeed valve. For descent phase, if the center tank has less than 3000 pounds of fuel, turn off the two center fuel pumps. If you need to hold altitude for an extended time during descent while the center tank has less than 3000 pounds, turn one center pump on. And this complete the Boeing 737 NG's fuel management and see you in the next tutorial.